What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. Today I am bringing it back to the Artist Alley. This is when I get to feature some fan-made Sailor Moon items. So I love being able to use my platform to share these different small businesses with you, especially right now with everything going on in the world. I think it's so cool to be able to support a small business as opposed to Amazon. So if you are interested in doing that as well, definitely check out the links down below. I will provide links to all of the different makers as long as they want me to. And I will also tell you about them right here in the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I have a birthday present that my bestie gave me. So I may not know the makers for these, but if I do, I will provide that information for you. So these are a few little stickers that she provided with some cute little expressions on Usagi's face. I also got this awesome sticker. It says vaccinated in Sailor Moon's wearing a mask, which if you didn't know in Asian culture, it's totally normal to wear a mask whenever you're feeling like you have the cold. And I'm used to wearing a mask because I used to live in California where we had forest fires. So I have no issue with that. And I absolutely love this sticker. I am sticking this on my laptop. It looks like it comes from a company called Luna Wonderland. These stickers are by a maker named Genevieve Santos. And there is a link, so I will definitely put that down in the description for you. These are some really, really cute Sailor Guardians. So we have the inner Sailor Guardians here. Now, one of my favorite things that I collect whenever I go to conventions is fan art. So I love this print and I'm so happy that my bestie gave it to me. This is a beautiful print of Usagi transforming and it's printed on this really cool holographic paper. So I'm gonna add this to my collection of other prints that I own. She also supplied me with a Hot Topic gift card because your girl knows me. And she sent me some very cute nail decals. I love these, they're so cute. Now I have been doing my nails at home. I use Hollow Taco in case you're interested where I got this nail polish from. These are adorable and there's so many. I feel like they're gonna last a very long time. Now the last item from my birthday haul is this really cool acrylic tray, which I may end up putting downstairs in my studio just so I can look at it all the time because wow, Wow, look at the sparkles. I love the sparkles. Just look how glittery it is. Oh, it's so cool. I'll have to find a place for this so I can look at it constantly. <laughs> so thank you, Bestie. That's adorable. Moving on. I am excited to share these with you. Not only because they are from one of my favorite pen makers, Disney Rye, but also because some of these are exclusives that he has not posted publicly yet. When I opened the box, I was just like, Whoa, mind blown. I cannot believe that he sent over some brand new pins that he has not even posted about, but I asked him if I could share these with y'all and he said, sure, no problem. So I am sharing these with you. I hope that you haven't seen them either so that you can be the first to see them. <gasps> I, I can't wait. Okay, so first off, I did purchase this one. This is a beautiful Mistress Nine pin that he created. He posted this one on his Instagram page and I, loved it. So I said, I need one. <laughs> so I purchased this one. So I had mentioned to him that I was really excited for Sailor Saturn so I could complete my Sailor Guardians collection, even though I don't have Sailor Chibi Moon, but I kind of skipped her. Look at Sailor Saturn. The screen printing on here is so detailed and it looks so precise. And the enamel work with the colors are so accurate to what you see in the anime. I'm just very, very happy with how he does his pins. I think they look gorgeous. So Sailor Saturn is gonna be added to my Guardian collection. So he sent me three brand new ones that he hasn't posted on his channel yet. First we have, I'll show you this one. So first we have Sailor Venus. So here's Minako with her umbrella. Again, gorgeous screen printing and I love the color of the umbrella. I think that works so well with her color scheme, beautiful. And the fact that she's wearing like her guardian colors in her outfit is just adorable. So cute. So this is called Umbrella Minako. Then we have Makoto. So here we have Sailor Jupiter Makoto with her umbrella. And again, featuring her Sailor Senshi uniform colors. So cute. And look at the screen printing in her face. It just, it came out so well. It just looks beautiful. So great job on this one too. And the back of this one is called Umbrella Makoto. Then, <laughs> not done yet. He also sent me this one. Check that out. 
So we've already seen Umbrella Usagi, but here we have Usagi and Mamoru, and Usagi's wearing a different outfit. And look at the umbrella for Mamoru. It's just so, it's so perfect. This is so cute, and it's a rather large pin. Like, look how big that is compared to my hand for the two characters. I think this is gonna fit really, really well with the other characters. It's so pretty. I cannot wait for him to post these for everybody because I feel like everyone's going to love these pins. And I found a couple that were being resold by another collector, so I grabbed a few of the other ones from the series. Here's Usagi with her red umbrella, and Usagi looks so cute with her pink dress. I love it. And I'm ridiculous, I know. And I was able to find somebody reselling Ray. So here is Sailor Mars Ray with her red umbrella. Just so classy. I love it. So the only one that I'm missing from the umbrella series, unless he does the outer Sailor Guardians as well, would be Amy Chan. Thank you so much, Disney Rai, for sending over all these pins. Again, you're the person who got me into pin collecting many years ago, so I love what you're doing. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, and I hope that everybody checks out your Instagram as well. Okay, moving on. I have... A package from Barbara D Designs. So I had ordered a series of stickers from Barbara and she sent me a few bonus items to share with y'all as well. Barbara included a postcard with this very cute art on the back that says, thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much for supporting my small business in art. I hope you love everything. And her Instagram is Barbara D Designs. I'll put a link down below. She also says, post a picture of your purchase and tag me for 15% off your next order. So Barbara does a video count. <laughs> I'm sure I will order from you again. I've ordered from you many times already. So she sells a bunch of really cute stationery. For example, I have this piece of paper right here from one of her stationery notebooks. This one features the silver millennium down at the bottom. And this one is lined and it features Usagi and Mamoru. These are the stickers that I'd ordered. I got this one of Hotaru transforming which I thought was really cool. This is such a unique design and the holographic effect is so fun. So this is a cute print. It takes the art of Usagi and Mamoru dancing and uses Luna and Artemis. So there we have Luna and Artemis dancing. Very unique again. This one of Galaxia is just so freaking cool. And she does use a different kind of hollow effect on this sticker. This one of the Inner Sailor Guardians. Again, a gorgeous design. She also threw in a couple little bonus stickers of Makoto and this cute little kitty cat. These are not Sailor Moon related, but she has a black cat. So that, so that counts, right? These are Sabrina from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So we have a burgundy color and a bright red version. So I grabbed both of those. She also has a version of this one with a crescent moon behind her, which is also really pretty. So this is a bookmark that features Hotaru on it and it's magnetic. Barbara sent over this beautiful enamel pin with a crescent moon on the edges and the silver crystal. And last but definitely not least, Barbara has so many different items on her website. You should definitely check it out. She sent over a lanyard which features a bunch of different villains. That's cool. In a previous episode, I had mentioned that it's hard to find villain merchandise. We don't have a lot of it. So having villain merchandise is something that I love to collect. This is cool. Look, it's even got Mistress Knight on it. That's awesome. This is really pretty. I'll definitely be using this for conventions. Thank you again so much, Barbara. Those are amazing, and I'm definitely going to be purchasing more items from you. Let's move on to the next maker. This next pin, is from Yozora Studios, AKA Cosmic Skies. This is very similar to a pin that I had shown you previously, but I couldn't choose. So I ended up buying a different version of it because this one's pretty too. This one is a little bit different than the one I have already, which features the same exact design, but this one has different glitter effects. So this one has a glitter moon and it's also rose gold. So this was like a limited edition run of a new version of the same design. And sometimes you will see that with enamel pins, you'll get several different designs. So if there's like a color scheme that you prefer, you can always choose a different one. I am a pin collector for sure. All right, moving on, I got fan mail. I know, it's so exciting. I don't usually get fan mail, but when I do, because I have a UPS store address, when I do, it's so exciting because it's totally unexpected and it's always super fun to read your notes and read your letters and check out like the pictures that you send. So I will keep the letter private. 
Uh, this is from Andrew. Andrew is so sweet for sending over this letter. Andrew also sent over a whole bunch of different fan art that I would love to show you today. So this is so cute. I will hide his full name on there so you can't see it, but Andrew sent over this adorable art that he made. Andrew's character's name is Adeline. So here's Adeline cosplaying Sailor Moon. I love her expression and I love the fact that she has her black hair and she just did her own hair instead of wearing a wig. So there's Sailor Toon Adeline. Thank you so much, Andrew, and I love that you're a cartoonist and I love your work. I think that you are going to go far as an artist and I wish you tons of luck in your future career. All right, these two pins are from a maker named Pins with Ivy. As y'all know, I'm obsessed with Halloween, so I had to get these pins. So here we have Usagi as a witch. Isn't that cool? And she's got glitter in there. The glittery hat is awesome. This is cute. I really like her broom, and I love that the broom has a crescent moon at the top, and I love her hat, and I love her pigtails. I just love this whole design. I think it's really cool. Like, it uses the Sailor Moon color scheme, but and makes it very, very witchy. Like this is perfect pin for Halloween. Pins with Ivy also made one that features Black Lady. So here's the Black Lady version. There was a glittery version, but that was sold out. So I went with this one instead, but still really cute, very pretty. And I love how the design really accentuates the colors of Black Lady. These are cool. I really like them. And this one is an in-hand pin from a maker named Nixie Pins. So Nixie Pins makes some really pretty pin on pin enamel pins. That means that there is a pin on the back and then a pin on the front. So it's like twice as large. This one features a Tokyo at night Sailor Moon, except she looks like a ninja. So she's like Ninja Moon. I love this design. It is so unique. I really enjoy like enamel pins that have these unique vibes about them. The sand blasting on here is done so well. There's a little bit of glitter, for example, in her gloves, but otherwise not too much glitter going on there. This is a B grade. I don't know why. It doesn't look like a B grade. I don't see any issues with it. I don't see any flaws. I think it's an A grade personally, but <laughs> that's just me. So that was Nixie Pins. Have y'all heard of Luxie Charm Arts? If you haven't, you should, because she makes some really beautiful enamel pins. So this is my first time finding her. I just discovered her work, but I'm very, very excited to check out the rest. In fact, I pre-ordered a lot of her pins at this point in time. She sent over this pin to be featured on the channel. So I'm very excited about this. And I do wanna thank you so much, Luxie Charm, for sending this over because I am just totally floored with how beautiful this thing is in real life. So first off, she sent me a beautiful sticker, but this sticker is really cool. Can't wait to put this somewhere. She also supplied me with some campeto, which girl, how did you know me so well? How do you know that I am obsessed with Compito? These are little sugar stars. Have you seen the Sailor Moon S movie? Because if you have, you will recognize sugar stars. So here we have a beautiful, very large pin of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. Isn't that gorgeous? We have glitter and the roses behind them. This is a pin on pin. So we have a front pin just featuring the two characters. The back pin is the Crescent Moon. This is limited edition 50. I don't know if it's still available on her website, but I will link it down below if it is. The back has a stamp that says LE50 Luxie Charm Arts. I love the little details in this pin. For example, the printing on her dress to make it really stand out and really pop. I love the shadowing in her hair and how there's multiple strands of her hair flowing away and how it's used at the bottom to cut off the bottom of the pin. That's just such a unique and beautiful way to accentuate the main characters in this pin and the screen printing on their faces. Just look at those expressions. Aren't they beautiful? I love this pin. Yeah, so as soon as I saw this in real life, I was like, oh yeah, I'm pre-ordering like everything that she makes. So Luxie Charm, you've got a new fan. Thank you so much for sending this over for me to review and for me to share on the channel. It's so pretty. Okay, I've shown you a lot of pins, so let me share something different. This is a shirt that I ordered from Mooney's Club, which is a podcast and you should definitely check it out. Mooney's Club has interviewed voice actors, celebrities, all sorts of Sailor Moon fans. They have some really cool merchandise. I'm a big fan of 
Naoko, obviously. I love the manga, so I love the shirt. It says, in this house we stand Naoko Takeuchi. And I got a size small. This is Bella Canvas, which is one of my favorite uh, t-shirt manufacturers. So it's really soft and this heather mint color is very pretty. So I'm really excited to wear this. And it's not like super obviously Sailor Moon, but it's it's the kind of Sailor Moon that like a real fan will notice and be like, oh, Naoko, I love her. I'll be like, yeah, me too, thanks. <laughs> so definitely check out Mooney's Club. I will put their link down below. All right, the next artist alley maker that I am featuring in today's episode is somebody who I'm sure you will recognize just by the bag alone. She sends all of them in these really cute bags. She makes enamel pins. Who is it? but Nerdy Girl Pins. So Nerdy Girl Pins sent me another mailer with a coupon code for y'all. She's offering my viewers 15% off with the coupon code SNUBS15. I will put that on the screen so it's really easy for you to check out. So I will divide these up based on series. So first we have the Guardian Goddesses series, which I love. And these are small. You could put them on your jacket, on your collar, for example. So these are the Guardian Goddesses series. I have three new ones here. We have Chibi Moon, Michiru, and Hotaru. Each of these features tons of glitter in the background, and each of the Guardians is wearing a floral crown. I love Hotaru's floral crown with the purple flower in the middle, and it totally accentuates her against this silver glitter background. Chibi Moon has a pink glitter background. Also really cute. And then we have this one. I said floral crown, but this is actually a crown of seashells, which I mean, totally makes sense for the character. So check out that glitter in the background too. Like look at how much it shines and sparkles. Also, I really like her face in this pin. And Nerdy Girl Pins sent me some of my favorites, the Transformation series, which is so pretty. First one I will show you is this variant of Black Lady. Look at that colorful, like holographic sparkle going on in her dress. It's so cool. And I love that she's holding her crystal. Also, I love the pearlescent swirl going on in the pink parts of her dress. That is so cool. And it's very, very beautiful. She also sent me the one that I was really excited to check out, Sailor Saturn. That's amazing. Here's Sailor Saturn in her transformation series. Love that she has her scythe. Very cool. The colors look really incredible and I love how big this pin is. It's definitely gonna look awesome on my pin board. And then we have Pluto. Oh my gosh, Pluto looks so cool. Oh, just look at her with her staff and all the glitter behind her and her hair. I love how her hair is flowing out. Oh, so cool. And last but not least, we have Neptune and Uranus. Here's Neptune. So Neptune has this really cool wave of water coming up behind her. And that's just so perfect for her pen. I feel like this one must've been so much fun to create because it just looks so good. And Sailor Uranus just looks like a goddess. I mean, look at that. She looks like a freaking sun goddess. Like this is so cool. There's glitter again. I really like, okay, so there's this detail in the middle where it's just the gold pin. There's no sandblasting, there's no glitter, nothing like that. It's just the plain gold. And I think that really accentuates the character and it does make it look like a sun goddess. Like it, it looks like she's transforming in front of the sun. Oh, and I just noticed she's holding her sword. Oh, that's awesome. Nerdy girl pins, you did it again. You know, with all these pins, you would think that I was running out of space, but I bought two more pin boards. So that's not happening for a while. <laughs> so these are made by a creator named Pin Ishi Pins. This is the Whispers of Fall collection. So these are all fall season themed enamel pins. And the first two in the collection are these two. We have Sailor Venus and we have Sailor Mercury. And how adorable are they? They're so cute. So behind Amy, we have some pearlescent swirling going on in the sky. There's some glitter in the leaves and she just looks great with that screen printing. Very detailed and I really like this design of that character. I think she's really adorable and kawaii. And she's holding a book because of course she is. It really brings out her personality, I think. The next one is Minako. So with Minako, I love that she focused on having these beautiful trees in the background that are definitely within Minako's color scheme. 
We also have some glitter going on in the leaves for the border and that pearlescent swirl in the sky again. And how cute is it that she's holding a little heart-shaped leaf? Oh my gosh. So cute, totally Minako's personality. All right, I have two more makers to share with you. This one did make this bag, so I'll show you the bag as well. And then I got some clothing, a sticker. So these are all made by Kitsune Official. So Kitsune Official made this awesome looking canvas bag. It's huge, like it's big. I will probably travel with this thing because it's nice quality, really big. I love these rope-like handles. They are perfect. I love the print on here. I think the print looks epic and it's so, it's so freaking big. There's so much room in this bag. Now I also picked up from Kitsune Official a sticker. Now this sticker is a little weird. You can tell that it's very pixelated, so I'm probably not going to use it, honestly. I think it's because they used a JPEG for this image and I ordered the largest size sticker. So when it blows up, it gets pixelated as opposed to like using a PNG or a vector. One thing I do like though are these really cool t-shirts. Now I got all of these items during uh, Kitsune Official's Black Friday sale, so got everything on sale and then it shipped in a few days. So not an issue whatsoever in terms of shipping. I got two shirts. Both of these are Gildan Heavy Cotton, which I usually prefer Bella Canvas. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't an option on the site. So you get Gildan Heavy Cotton. So definitely not my favorite t-shirt manufacturer. Um, I would rather spend more and get like Bella Canvas, which is very soft and it flows better whenever you're wearing it. This is a little bit more of like a stiffer cotton material. So not my favorite, but I love the print. So the print is what these t-shirts are all about. This Hotaru print is so cool. I love that it has kanji on it. Hotaru right there. Down at the bottom, it says Seira Sa. Turn. Mm. So Sailor Saturn. And then we have this awesome picture of Sailor Saturn in the middle. And given it's a small, it'll fit great. So I'm gonna wash it and then wear it. And I'm so excited to wear it like on all of my shows. So very cool shirt. And the other one I got is this one, which features Sailor Moon, because she's also one of my favorites. So we have Moon. It says Usagi. And then down at the bottom, it says Sailor Moon. Again, a really, really pretty print. I love the ombre color scheme going on here. I think that's very pretty and it's kind of unique. Like the, the ombre with the printing style going on here and the fact that it's such a large print on the front of the shirt, that's kind of what drew me in. So I'm really excited to wear these shirts. I think they are very, very pretty. And if you want to get a close up picture of the print quality, you can kind of see it there. Last but not least is another creator that I have featured before. This one is another purchase that I made from Sailor Kraken Pins. I got a lot of pins from Sailor Kraken Pins, so I saved these for last. Love that Sailor Kraken Pins always sends candy in their envelopes. All right, so a collection that I have never collected before, but I saw these and I was like, those are pretty, are the Kimono series. First, we have a pastel edition of Sailor Venus, Minako-chan. She's opening the door and coming in through. She's not wearing a kimono. <laughs> She's not wearing a kimono properly, but she looks super cute. She's made really well, and there's this very fine glitter in the background behind her. And I love the pastel colors. So I really like this pin and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The other one I grabbed in this series is Michiru. So there's a few different versions of Michiru. There was one with like a bright sky blue background. I really like this one though. The pearlescent swirl is just so cool. And I love the fact that it's different colors. The screen printing in her face is done really well. It's just all around a very beautiful pin. Now, if you recall previously, I had unboxed a Sailor Kraken pins, Sailor Jupiter attack series. However, it was the regular version and I wanted the glitter version. So I was able to find a glitter version on her website. So you can see some glitter in the skirt. This does match my other attack series pins from Sailor Kraken pins. So I'm really happy that I was able to find this. And now I have an extra to sell. These went out of stock rather quickly. So I had to rely on a drop buddy to get these pins that I really wanted. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm happy that I did though, because these look so cool. These are variants of Sailor Moon. So here we have a white haired version with a cape. And then we also have a pink haired version 
which is very similar to what you would see in some original art from Naoko. So these were from a drop buddy. So thank you to my drop buddy. This one I ordered online. She was in stock for quite some time. So I was able to grab her. So she has yellow hair and then a beautiful cape behind her. This one features Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon together. Sailor Moon has some gorgeous wings. She has a really cool expression on her face and so does Chibi Moon, honestly. I just love the fact that they have like rose petals falling around them. Her wings look like she's flying. Even her wings have some really nice, I think it's sandblasting going on in them. The print is done very well. It's very detailed. It's so pretty. So it wasn't really on my wish list, but when I got it in the mail, again, this is one of those pins that I think the photos don't do it justice. It's so much prettier in person. I feel like every single one of these pins that I unboxed today is a little piece of art. And really they are. I mean, these take a ton of time to create. They take a ton of time to manufacture. So the last one on my list today is one of my faves because I love Halloween. I've said that like three times in this video. I don't know, it's the theme today. Is this one, Sailor Kraken Pins made this one as well. And it features, this is so freaking cute. We have pumpkins down here. We have Small Lady Serenity. We have Usagi and we have Minako. And each of them have Halloween costumes featuring their cats. So <laughs> Small Lady Serenity is dressed up as Diana. We have Usagi dressed up as Luna, and we have Minako dressed up as Artemis, which how freaking cute is that design? I've never seen anybody do a design like this, and I love Halloween. So as soon as I saw this come online, I was like, I must have this. It must be mine. Some of the details I love is the screen printing in their faces. They just look so cool. There's some little screen printing in the dress over here. We also have this awesome staff that Usagi is holding and there's a little bat up there and there's a couple of little bats around the edges to give it a little bit more of that Halloween spooky vibe. This pin is cool. All these pins are cool. Everything that I unboxed today, is cool. Oh my gosh, I got through that entire box. Wow. I ordered a lot of fan made items today. So I hope that you enjoyed this artist alley. If you did, definitely leave a comment down below and check out all of the links to all of these featured artists in the description below as well. And if you are interested in checking them out, most of these I found on Instagram. If you can definitely support small businesses, especially with this beautiful kind of art that we have seen in this episode, as well as my previous Artist Alley episodes where I featured other creators. I am a small business myself, so just you subscribing and commenting and engaging with my videos that I post, all of that helps me grow a better channel and it helps me do this full time. So I really appreciate all the love that you show me and I love being able to make friends with other moonies on the internet. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. Johnny.